Hi everyone, I'm Denise LaFrance, your host of Campus Convos, and I'm here joined today by the Arts Department Chair, Mr. Matthew Burns. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you, everybody? Good. Good to see you. So we've got some awesome stuff behind us um, that kind of encompasses what your department is. Yes. And one of the really cool things that has happened as of late is the new creative media t uh, technology building groundbreaking. That was all mouthful. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, well done. Uh, yeah, so last week was really exciting for creative media technology, or our new name is going to be Film and Digital Media Arts. And so, we, yes, we had a very exciting groundbreaking ceremony last Tuesday mm -hmm. where a ton of people came from the governor to Senator Jeff Steinborn, uh, Wayne Savage from Arrowhead uh, Park came and we talked about and celebrated the, the groundbreaking of the new Creative Media Technology Building, which is something very specific for DACC and the Film and Digital Media Arts Program. But it's also hopefully going to be, you know, it won't hopefully, it will be the um, phase one of what we're calling the Creative Campus, which is a separate, connected, but larger thing. So uh, for film and digital media arts, what does this mean? It means yeah. a lot, actually. Uh, because here we're in the film and digital media, we're in the digital media building, which we yeah. actually share with the drafting and architecture and design technology department as well, which is a great relationship and we love it. There's nothing wrong there. Yeah. But uh, the building for many years has not really been adequate for all of us. And so uh, we've been needing new facilities, uh, new professional facilities for doing everything from uh, green screen work to motion capture to game design, um, virtual reality, augmented reality, things of that nature. Yeah. We've never really had the best facilities for that. This new building that we're in the process of, of just starting um, will hopefully take care of that, give us all the space we need to uh, do a bunch of whole new technologies. We've, we've grown, and so we need this space. Tell me a little bit about what the space is going to look like, and um, do we have an estimated possible constru uh, construction completion date? <laughs> we do have an estimated <laughs> time of delivery. Uh, so I'll do that one first. Okay, so the estimated uh, building construction time should be, it should be completed somewhere in the summer of 2024 which is not that far away, just yeah. a little over a year from now, because we're, we're in May, or April, sorry, we're April 2023 <laughs> right now. So about a year and three, four months or so. That's a scheduled completion date, and then hopefully fall of 2024, we'll actually have classes in that, fer the, the very first classes in the building. Nice. What the building is proposed to be right now is a, a large uh, sound stage about 4,000 to 5,000 square foot sound stage with 20 foot ceilings and a, gr a lighting grid for the top. Um, and then enough space to do set construction to leave sets built. Because uh, we have a small nice. studio downstairs uh, it doesn't have very high ceilings, so it doesn't allow us to do a lot of interesting lighting configurations to teach students things like that, yeah. or to use our, our, our dollies, or to use our cranes, or to use things like that. Um, this space will allow us the freedom and the space to do that, but also we'll be able to build standing sets that don't have to be torn down at the end of every class, which oh, okay. is technically what's happening right now, is we have yeah. to build something, and then it's being used, we'll shoot something, and then it has to be torn down and put away for the next class. And yeah. so we won't have to do that. We'll have the space to leave stuff set up. Um, and then, of course, it'll give us room to do some motion capture, which is essentially cameras mounted around the studio. Uh -huh. And someone wears one of those suits with the little dots on it, right? Yeah. And then we can use the cameras to track their movement and then translate that movement into animation. And that'll be really useful for the game design and animation program. Nice. So that'll be the core of the building, is that, that large sound stage. In addition to that, there should be at least three specialized media classrooms. One that speci that'll specialize for video production and photography, uh, another one for graphic design and web development, and mm -hmm. the third specifically for game design, virtual reality, and augmented reality. Uh, yeah. And then of course offices and commons areas and yeah. a loading dock. And, and one of the big things that we didn't have was a lot of storage space. So we have a ton of equipment, but we're storing it all over the place. And I'm sure there's some behind the banners <laughs> here right now um, that we didn't see. But so that's essentially what we're going to build. And that's when it's going to be done. 
That is so amazing. It's just, it's a state of the art. What, you, and there's been a lot of really amazing things that have happened within the film and the digital arts industry here. Um, mm -hmm. Why is this so important, this building? Well, because we're training the next generation workforce. So mm -hmm. the next generation of workforce for all these different media technologies, we want to train students to enter this industry. It's important because New Mexico is an uh, a, a, already a strong place for be making film and media. Yeah. And it's only going to get stronger as the tax incentives continue to be uh, a strong uh, reason for a lot of films that want to come to New Mexico and make movies. Also the convergence of media. You're going to start to see, we're already, I should say we're already seeing the convergence of different media technologies being used in different areas. Mm -hmm. uh, a good example is using game design technology in the film production process. And that kind of leads me to what a partnership that we're working on with uh, the State of New Mexico Economic Development Department. Uh, it's a thing they're calling the New Mexico Media Academy. And the governor talked a little bit about it on yeah. Tuesday last week. And she was actually down here in southern New Mexico six months ago, Roughly, roughly, roughly six roughly months ago when time. she announced the $40 million New Mexico Media Academy where there was going to be a northern hub which is going to be up in Albuquerque and a southern hub which will be attached to the creative campus here. It'll be attached to our building and we'll manage it and we'll help run it and that'll be another soundstage that they're, that's going to be built adjacent to ours. The building will be attached to ours I think and in there will specifically be what they're calling an, a volumetric stage which is an LED volume, which is, uh, just imagine a wall of LED monitors from floor to ceiling and enough, large wow. enough to put a car or a truck in yeah. so that you could like simulate an environment and you could film, for example, a car in front of the LED and on projected on the screen behind you could be anything. It could be white sands, it could be the moon, oh, nice. it could be anywhere. And so you could simulate those environments in a more controlled space like the studio. And you'll yeah. see like, for example, um, major television shows are already doing this kind of thing, like Mandalorian. They mm -hmm. use that green screen, instead of green screen technology, they're using LED walls. And so this will allow, uh, allow us to train the workforce in all those different areas because they're using volumes to do everything from television to movies, but they're also using it for live performances, uh, Broadway shows, Vegas shows, uh, rock concerts, um, yeah. you name it. So we'll be able to train students in that cutting edge technology. Las Cruces, That's why it's important. Right, Las Cruces, New Mexico is just really putting itself on the map and that's just amazing. Yeah, yeah, it is. They're doing a great job. So if there's any students that are interested and say, hey, this this is cool, I want to do this. Do you have any advice for them and, and what can they do to get involved in the program? Uh, okay, good. Well, to get involved in the program, uh, I would say if you're in a, a New Mexico high school, you have access to dual credit. So mm -hmm. that's a great way to get started is, yep. to, is to take those dual credit classes in media or related uh, of related um, act, uh, technologies, <laughs> there we go, and in related technologies and get involved. Um, we had the 10 by 25 conference last year and we had the Mesilla Valley Leadership Academy students visit and ask questions during our filmmaker panel, which was really cool. And one of the questions they asked was, well, I wanna make movies, how do I make movies? And the whole panel basically just said, you just do it. You get involved. You grab yeah. your whatever technology. You grab your friends. You come up with a really cool ideas, and you just start making media. Yeah. Um, but to take it to the next level, where you get to train with professional equipment and from professionals who have been in the industry, then you might want to, like I said, start off with dual credit. Take some of those media classes: Photoshop and Illustrator and a video editing, game design, um, and then contact us here at the community college. Give us a call uh, and find out what programs are available, mm -hmm. what careers those programs lead to, and what you would need to do to sort of like get your start in the industry. And there's all kinds of ways to do that. Everything from short certificate programs to full associate degrees that le either lead to the workforce or lead very nicely to a degree at the four-year institution over at New Mexico State University. So. Some exciting things happening. Ab absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Matt, so much. We really appreciate you for talking to us. And this is just so amazingly cool. So it is. really, really appreciate it. <laughs> More good stuff to come. Yes. Keep, stay tuned. 
definitely. <laughs> and we'll talk to you then. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We, we will talk. Definitely, we should talk again when it's time for the groundbreaking, where we can do a special tour and show off some of the technology and have a really cool. We'll, we'll have a bunch of really cool visitors as well. We would love to do that. That would be great. Okay, a special <laughs> episode coming soon. <laughs> All right, thanks again. You got it. And I'm Denise LaFrancois Hinaga, and I'm your host with Campus Convos. Uh, tune in next month, and we'll see you again. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye.